you know, I just can't for work. I've been playing around with my little handheld. And um, I've built an antenna. It's called a Lindenblad. The weather satellites. Interesting stuff. And they so I found the Lindenblad antenna on the internet. And I thought, well, I'll just knock one up out of fencing wire and bits and pieces and I had some old TV ribbon cable lying around and, and stuff so I finished it this afternoon and in about 10 minutes or less a um, NO, NO, NAOO NOAA NO, NOAA 15 is going to come over and it's going to do a beautiful pass straight over the top it's going to be 80 degrees up in the air and bang straight over the top handheld that I'm going to listen to on the antenna that I've just made. I'm going to just see what the signal's like uh, before deciding on you know where to put it or even build a better one. This one's only just knocked up. Wander outside. Just a little handheld, and that's the antenna. It's just four folded dipoles, fed with TV ribbon, uh, down to a plug. I was hoping it was going to be stronger than that actually. Look at that. Huge signal. Look at that. Hits full scale. done is we put the antenna up on the garage roof and we're now feeding it into another receiver and uh, feeding the audio into the computer. Doesn't get much louder than that. That's a beautiful big signal. you can see my lying up is not quite right of the, um, the image but that's not a bad one really it gives us a fair idea the little cross here is my location there building up the thumbnail image and uh, there we go. It's done now. It's now these are just some screenshots of um, WX to IMG program. Um, it was another satellite pass at a different time. What I really need to do though is I need to get a receiver with uh, more bandwidth. Um, the bandwidth's too narrow um, to receive all the satellite information but it's, as you can see it's um, a fairly comprehensive picture.